Hello and welcome everyone to another tutorial series of advanced WordPress theme development. In the previous video, we learned about how to display the featured image. Also spoke about we are going to learn how to register the image sizes with custom thumbnails. So how do we do that? Well, we'll go to the WordPress org documentation that talks about adding image sizes. And you can see there is a function in WordPress called add image size. So we're just going to use that. And this function needs to be called with the after setup theme hook. And we already have the class called class Aquila theme, wherein we are using add action after setup theme. And then we are calling this function when the script reaches here. So we already have a class called Aquila theme. And this is where you can see that we're doing add action after setup theme. And then when the script reaches here, we're calling the setup theme function and we have registered support for the post thumbnail this is where we're going to add a new image size also and the function is add image size and then take certain parameters so what are the parameters it takes it takes the name so what is the size name so remember we tried to get the featured large so this is the custom name that we are supposed to register to for this to work so i'll do featured large comma and then the width and the height right so the width let's check what the width should be so this is our post and ideally if i hover over it uh, don't worry about the intrinsic look at the one outside of it which is 350 by 232 right so that's the size we need let's just confirm that by checking this one as well Yes, 350 by 233. So we'll register 353 by 233. 350 by 233. Awesome. And then you have another parameter that talks about whether or not you want to crop it. So if you use this parameter, then it's going to crop it from uh, the center. Okay. So let's make that true. So if the image size is big, it's going to crop it from the center. So we've, we've actually registered our image size, which is great. We just need to add these dimensions over here, pixels, and the max width should be 350 pixels. And the, this name, I think we should also change the name to featured thumbnail because it's not like really large thumbnail. Okay, and we'll change that into our functions also. So function definition is here. Change that to featured thumbnail. Change that to featured thumbnail. Awesome. Great. So we've registered the image. And so we have registered the uh, image size and that's the size we're going to use. So let me show you the demo of it. So let's go to one of our posts and I'm going to go ahead and upload one of the images. And let's see what what happens. Let's go to downloads. Let's say this one. Open it up. And then I'm going to set featured image. And then update it. And now if you go and refresh. And then do an inspect element on this image you will notice that WordPress has already added the width of 350 by 233. And if you check the image, it's loading the 350 by 233 pixels size, right? And over here as well, it says max width and all of that stuff, which is great. So that's how you register the image sizes. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And in the next video, we will continue further displaying the rest of the information for the post, like the title and the taxonomies, etc. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.